What is going on guys, Bisectatron here bringing you today's video and we are highlighting some of those little techniques that are going to make your attacks that much better, help you get the 3 star, starting it right off Town Hall 11 attack. I love this one replay here, using the skeleton spell to activate all those Teslas, of course it's a cleanup attack so uh, he knows the Teslas are there, and you think okay it's an extra spell, well actually it's not because both those infernos were close enough together that only one earthquake was needed to finish off um, the last 25% of hit points on those infernos. Typically you need four, uh, four lightning spells, one earthquake spell per inferno tower, but if they're close enough together, you can get them both with one earthquake, and in this case, um, gets four free Teslas just for that one skeleton spell. As you guys may or may not know, the skeleton spell does trigger uh, Teslas, um, so be sure to consider using that on a cleanup attack, whether it's Town Hall 11 or you know Town Hall 12, Town Hall 13. If you're using you know the the lightning spell at all, really to take out an Inferno Tower, usually for witch attacks, this is definitely something to consider. And um, it was definitely good that that was taken out because a lot of these troops are going to walk around the outside of the base which might have been a bit of an issue if there was a lot of like damage uh, buildings in there. In this case, it's mainly the queen that's the issue. She's going to take out quite a few of those hogs and other troops, but um, there's nothing major inside the base. Uh, Teslas are gone. Of course, the Infernos are gone. The Expos are reachable from kind of the outside here as these witches start to cut into that outer compartment. We'll fast forward here. One to just uh, highlight the beginning of that attack mostly. Show you guys that cool little strategy there. Um, but we got some other ones, some Town Hall 11s. I'm going to be showing more Town Hall 11s, also a Town Hall 12, um, just because I focused on Town Hall 13 a bit uh, more recently. I <clears throat> want to spread it around a little bit. Also have some ideas for some updated base building type videos that uh, will be helpful for you guys. So I'm definitely going to be looking to uh, upload a few of those if I can in the next bit of time here. Um, this one was a... A very nice use of the log launcher. You can see also has skeleton spells. They're not actually going to be the main uh, feature of this attack here, though. I mean, look at how many walls. It's kind of crazy seeing the the hit points just incrementally go down on those walls. This is like the perfect angle. The wall wrecker, of course, would take forever to open all that up because it has to go like two walls at a time. Whereas the log launcher just destroys those walls opens up a very nice uh, angle into the base that the defender of course had no way of you know anticipating that happening but um, there's so much accessible here to just the heroes the ice golem uh, just goes down now and um, you can see that there were two skeleton spells that were brought I think to take out the defensive queen but you know got that taken out and gets much more than that so he goes ahead and drops one of them to help take out that expo actually um, and it's kind of nice how the skeletons have that shield so when they get hit by a giant bomb They don't all die immediately. It just pops off their shield, which is kind of cool Anyway, though um, gets all the way to the point where this um, on the far left there You're gonna see that Yeti actually take down that air defense, which is pretty crazy So pretty much all there is for the balloons to deal with is that Eagle does a nice job kind of cutting the pathing there So it's not the most direct, but it's done so that they are not going to ignore the Eagle because it is kind of isolated there. Needs to take out some buildings to force those balloons along. And at this point, it's just about soaking them in all those extra spells. Um, has a heal spell coming down right here. Not a ton of balloons, but you can see there's still nine balloons that haven't even been dropped yet. That's something I tend to do with my Lalo is I have all these extra balloons I forget to drop. Um, so it gets those going. Has the skeleton spell. Now in this case, he might be tempted to drop the skeleton spell to take out those remaining defenses. It's actually better oftentimes not to and just wait and use it for cleanup here. Good use might have been over on this archer tower actually to speed things up a bit. Because um, otherwise these balloons are going to have to make that long trek on their own. But in general, um, the balloons are already going to be taking out defensive buildings. And if you have enough to get the job done, you might as well just save that skeleton spell because they're a lot quicker, a lot better at cleanup often than the balloons are. Um, but, you know, if it comes down to you only have one or two balloons left, there's still an air defense up, then it makes a little more sense to use that skeleton spell to take out the remaining defenses. It's kind of a, just kind of make the best decision in the moment to an extent. Nice poison spell, not even needed, and we will 
continue on here to the next attack here. Let's go up to our Town Hall uh, 12 attack. Let's see, which one? This one, I think. Yep. <clears throat> Had to show the Super Witches. Um, all around a very nice attack here. A few different things that I thought were done that were good. Of course, you want to start that Warden Walk well before you do any of the Zap Quake action. Because why not? Um, the Warden Walk's going to take a decent amount of time anyway. Might as well have him be the very first thing you drop since he's kind of that limiting factor in terms of waiting for you to start uh, deploying everything else. He has to get that first little layer down. Once that's done, going to set up the other side of the funnel. Come in with the Super Witches. Pretty standard stuff. Go ahead and go times two here um, as the King comes through and uh, the Siege Barracks will be dropped. I like a little bit of a delay on the Siege Barracks for this attack strategy because you don't want the Hogs to come out too early. You want the Super Witches to be tanking for them mostly. Go ahead and go back to times one here. Um, otherwise, the Super Witches, because they move slowly, won't be into the core of the base yet. The Hogs will end up dying. Um, even with this delayed Siege Barracks a little bit, still the Hogs are you know barely kind of meeting them uh, in the middle of the base. There was a lot of damage over here, including that Inferno, so they are going to die pretty quickly. The Eagle also locks onto them, it looks like. So the Hogs do be, uh, you know, get sacrificed there to Giant Bomb and all that other stuff. But it's okay. They did their job. They took out part of that Tesla farm along with the King. This is what I really liked, though, from this attack, is those back-end, like, five balloons. When you're using Super Witches, you know, they're slow, but they're very tanky, both the Witches and the Skeletons that they spawn. So by... Dropping down those balloons, oftentimes you can take advantage of those defenses being tanked. It's kind of an old school attack where you would um, use these balloons on like the outer ring of defenses. Kind of a nostalgic feeling to that. But I really like it. I think it complements the Super Witches nicely. You're sometimes a little bit crunched on troop space, so it's not always easy to bring these balloons. But if you can, you know, you can see they go a long way to taking out these defenses. And, you know, the Super Witches, if you do it right, are plenty uh, firepower, but it speeds it up and it prevents, you know, you from losing a few troops that would otherwise uh, help speed thing up, things up further, because um, oftentimes you're going to be running out of time with this attack strategy. All right, one more to take a look at. We're going to go back to Town Hall 11 here, down to number 37. Let's see what we got here. This one, nice dragon attack. Um, let's take a look at what happened here. Goes ahead and just drops down some lightning spells, takes down the air defense. Another lightning spell combo over there, grabs another one. Just straight up trades for those air defenses there, nothing too fancy. Um, one thing that I really like, it's a small thing, but you gotta funnel your queen if you're just gonna drop her on the side here. And this is what the attacker did a great job of doing. Sneaky goblin there, wizard there because otherwise she can kind of get pulled to one side and go on like a um, just a huge walk in a direction that you don't want her to go. If you want her to step up, especially if there's like in this case two layers of these trash buildings outside the walls, you got to make sure you put a little bit of, of like a one layer funnel for her. That way you can ensure she's stepping up, getting what you need her to get, and it's going to help her get deeper into the, the base, which is making a better funnel for the dragons. Hits the ability Gets the bomb tower here. I think gets a little bit of damage on the expo before she goes down. Um, so just, you know, good stuff there and making an even better funnel just because invested that, you know, seven troop space to make sure she was funneled. Everything's a funnel for everything else. Got to remember that. Including that um, stone slammer coming in, taking out some defenses, keeping the dragons going into the core, which is what we like to see. At this point, it's just about can we get to that back end eagle here? And um, that's where the funnel is so important. You can see the dragons just stepping up. The sweeper, I don't think, is able to quite point at them. And there we go. A few dragons on the eagle. That's pretty much it. Goes ahead and uses the heal on the dragons. Um, I'm not sure. I think it's balloons and the slammer. So um, maybe that was what the heal was intended for. But in this case, goes ahead and gets it down, saving those dragons a little bit of health. And um, looks like has a free spell to spare with this one. Yep, there come the balloons out of the slammer. Good stuff. Anyway, that's our last attack for today. Hope you enjoyed. Drop a comment letting me know which was your favorite attack, what strategies and techniques you like to use that maybe you didn't see in this video. I'll be sure to check it out. And that's all for today. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching this video. 
If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code, ISECT, in the settings tab of your game, and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time, Bisectatron out.